If you lose a chunk of your brain in a terrible accident, it's now possible to grow replacement brain tissue out of a tiny bit of your own skin. You could even grow a smarter person's brain tissue if you can get some of their skin. It's not legal to put it inside your skull yet if you're a human, but that's only a matter of time. The real problem is that the new brain tissue, no matter who it's grown from, won't know exactly where to plug into your brain. There's no USB port, and your brain is constantly rewiring itself. It's like a river. You never step in the same brain twice. If you plug in some new brain, it'll send out neural projections, but they won't really know where to go. If the new brain isn't ripe yet, it might even overgrow the host brain, like this human brain tissue they put into a mouse brain a few weeks too early. We need a way to guide the new brain cells so they integrate better with the host brain. So these scientists tried speaking the language of neurons, electrical stimulation. Your neurons are fluent in this language, but as humans, we don't understand it very well. So they tested out a few different patterns of stimulation, and they found one that increased neural activity in a blob of lab-grown human brain tissue called a brain organoid. Could this stimulation help an organoid integrate into a damaged brain? They tested it on a mouse. They slurped out some of its brain using a technique called vacuum aspiration. Then they patched it up with a human brain organoid. After letting it settle into its new home for a few weeks, they wired up the mouse. They inserted these flexible electrodes to stimulate the organoid and record its activity. It's kind of a steampunk Tamagotchi. They electrically stimulated the organoid for 10 days to see if that would help it integrate with the mouse brain. And it did. They compared two groups of transplanted mice. Both had human brain organoids installed, but some of them also got the stimulation, and some didn't. The stimulated organoids grew bigger and had more mature neurons, probably in part because they got more blood vessels from the host brain. The neurons in the stimulated organoids had more dendritic spines which can receive input from other neurons. But did they form more connections with the host brain? When two neurons meet to form a connection called a synapse, there's a presynaptic neuron that releases neurotransmitters and they get picked up by receptors on a postsynaptic neuron. Each side of the synapse has molecular signatures that you can stain with certain colors to count the connections. They colored the presynaptic human neurons red and the postsynaptic mouse neurons green. Then they counted the synapses where both sides met. In the organoids that got the electrical stimulation, you can see more synaptic connections between the organoid implant and the host brain. So the organoids looked bigger, more mature, and more connected to their new brains if they got electrical stimulation. But did this actually help make up for the sensory cortex getting vacuumed out? Apparently so. When you poke a mouse in the foot with a bendy wire, you usually see brain activity in the gamma band associated with pain. This activity was significantly reduced in the mice who got the brain swap, even five months after the transplant, indicating some impairment in pain perception. That might be a blessing for a lab mouse, but the point of this study is to restore function, including pain perception. The mice who got the brain swap plus electrical stimulation, just for 10 days, eventually got back to pretty normal-looking gamma activity in the tickle chamber, which is impressive considering their primary sensory cortex was sucked out with a vacuum. So the future looks bright for Organoid Brain Computer Interfaces, or OBCIs. They didn't show any superhuman abilities or even super mouse abilities, but the electrical stimulation device did seem to help the new brain tissue integrate with the host brain. Before long, they'll try it on monkeys and eventually humans. If you're excited to participate in the first clinical trials, you may want to move to China. If you just want to become a more informed consumer of research like this, check out our sponsor, Brilliant. They have thousands of interactive lessons to give you a strong foundation in scientific thinking. Learn math, computer programming, data analysis, and more using real-world examples. See why artificial neural networks are so good at things like computer vision and large language models. Next time you're waiting in a line and you pull out your phone to make it less awkward, you could be learning science from first principles, even if you only have a minute or two. Try Brilliant free for 30 days at brilliant.org IHM. That'll also get you 20% off an annual subscription. That's brilliant.org IHM for a free 30 days. Thanks for watching.